Greetings, my volumetrically scattering visual art scoundrels. I've received a few questions on how to render atmosphere and uh, volumetric light in Arnold. And since the latest release of Arnold renders atmospheric volumes way better than the previous, now is a very good time to show you. So ready your dehumidifiers, because it's about to get foggy in here. Step 1, have you seen? Step 2, create your atmospheric volume material. Step 3, drag that into the environment slot in your render settings. simple three-step process. Step one is to have a scene with some lights in it. Step two is to create a new Arnold material under volume. Let's pick the atmosphere and atmospheric volume. Step three is to go into your render settings. Under the main tab, you can go down to environment and drop your newly created atmospheric volume into the atmosphere. And just like that, you're rendering atmospheric volume and volumetric light. And it instantly makes every scene look lovely. There are a few options that you can control in your atmospheric volume shader. Of course, you can change the color of your volume and you can change the density of your volume, which just makes it more or less dense. Bring it up, we get loads of fog. Under that, we have something called attenuation and that controls how much light the volume absorbs and which color light it absorbs. So if we turn up the attenuation, we get a less blown out and more realistic result. And if we turn that up by a lot, we get a very dark and mysterious scene. But let's bring that back just a little bit to a more reasonable value. Underneath the attenuation, we have the samples, and as usual in Arnold, that just controls the quality. Another way to control your atmospheric volume is individually in the lights. But say, for example, I didn't want this green light here to cast any volumetric light. Then I just find that green light in the object manager, scroll down here to the different contribution parameters, and there there is one for volume. So if I just turn that one down, or all the way off, that green traffic light does not cast volumetric light. And say for example we didn't want our street lights to cast the volumetric light, same thing goes for them. Just select all of those, and turn down the volumetric contribution to zero. Alternatively, if you want this to cast a bit of extra light, we can just boost that as high as we want. And those are the basics of the atmospheric volume in Arnold. Personally, I love this because it makes any boring old scene just 10 times better at the click of a few buttons. But that is it for now. And until next time, I'd like to thank you for your time. I hope you don't get lost in the fog. And as always, stay in motion. Bye,